What is up YouTube? My name is Bunny Films and today we are back in Lumber Tycoon 2 with a brand new video. And in this video we're going to be building ourselves a vending machine that works 99.999% of the time which is rounded to 100% of the time. Wink wink. Anyways, I hope you're having, having a... I can't talk. I hope you're having a great day. I'm not because this is the fourth time I recorded this tutorial today. Isn't that just exciting? Because I had the perfect recording, perfect build, everything worked. And then I realized my microphone was off, so I am a bit frustrated. But we're going to have a great time today in this video. And this vending machine is a super fun build. Anyone can build any um, new person. Anyways, I have a huge shout out to um, Denzel Super Peeps, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I love, I love kill him. I love kill him. Okay. Sure, let's go with that. Anyways, everyone, let's begin with the build. I really want to get this over with because I don't want to build this four times. And I did just leave this here because I'm not aligning these candy bars again and they are acting a bit strange. So, yeah, so be it. So we just, um, okay, let's go with the blueprints we need first. Also, guys, we are growing at an exponential rate. Hundreds of subscribers each day. We're almost at 29,000, which is insane. Almost 30,000. So I'm like, what? Wait, we need the BitConnect uh, audio. Hold on. I have, I've never used this. Be <laughs> hey, there we go. Okay, let me go back. I've I've been on my stream deck, so this all works out. But be connect. Yes, let's go through the blueprints. So I use cherry wood and oak wood for this build. You will need seven eight by fours, two four by fours, three four by twos, one two by two, one four over four wedge, and one large floor or eight by eight. And for the oak wood. I used one. Oh, actually, guys, you need wedges as well. You need a um. You need two one over four by one wedges, and then you need for the oak blue. Oh, I just popped all my fingers in my hand. That was weird. I've never popped fingers before. Anyways, or knuckles. Yeah, there we go. For the oak wood, you will need one two by two, three four by twos, one eight by two, and one eight by four. And then some miscellaneous items include one glass pane four by four, one wire, one button candy candy bags and candy boxes and candy bars and um three ladders any color works and yeah that's it so to start this build off i i'm not gonna move this so i'm leaving the eight by four here so you want to place an eight by four and this is gonna be a little display and then we're gonna build build building the machine right here and then you want to take a four by two of oak wood and place it right here and this should be four or three studs above the ground so three studs right here where my cursor is and then four studs up here and that's what, yeah, let's just start. We're going to grab an 8x4. Please fit. Don't make me move blueprints. It's going to make me move them. Ay, Dios mío. I learned that expression in Spanish. There we go. Let's put that there in Spanish class. There we go. Let's realign this candy. Like this. There we go. And we're going to pop this in here like that. Oh, come on. Just work, please. I really need to go to bed and stuff. There we go. And then same for this candy. Oh, shoot. I feel like all those are going to tip over. Now we're going to grab another 8x4. Place this right here. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and readjust this candy bar. And now you can go ahead and... I'm going to actually rotate this to like that. Um, and then you can add all of your candy in here before we do the rest. Now we're going to... <coughs> I've been talking for so long. Four videos, guys. Just imagine that. This is the fourth one. We're going to place an 8 by, or 4x4 four four right there. There we go. Let's grab our glass pane now, which you can purchase at um, Fancy Furnishings. And also for the candy, I always get comments on old videos. You can get the candy bar at Wood R Us only during the 2018 Halloween. That looks like an airport or something over there. Anyways, I do apologize if you were in a previous video and didn't get uploaded. I, I, just so many issues. We're going to grab our 4 over 4 wedge, rotate and place it on top like this. There we go. And then we're going to grab a 4x4 four four right here. And we're going to place it on the side like this. And you can also add like a little neon wire in there if you want to act it or make it look like a light. Which would be pretty cool. We're going to place a... <laughs> fail much. I really want more sounds. Suggest some in the comment section. Also those who are in... Oh, come on. Why am I... I'm lagging. So while I'm lagging, um, suggest anything you want me to build or um, build on this space. I have the contest going. I'm going to have it going for a few more videos. And then I'll announce the winner. If you have a good idea, suggest it. And you could win yourself 1 million Roblox or Lumber Tycoon 2 money. So that's not Robux. It's Lumber Tycoon 2 money. So we're going to take an 8x4. Place it right there. So you should have a little gap. And you want to take two... 4 by 2s and place them in between. And this is going to be able to um, display our little box of candy, which I only have one left. 
Oh, goodness. Uh, we need to go buy more, which I'll do off camera, apparently. Later. We're going to grab, grab ahead. Go ahead and place it right there. It's been too long of a day. Place that there. We're going to grab ourselves our small floor, or 2x2, two two, and place this up here, like so. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab our blueprints. You don't have to fill this blueprint in. Uh, nah. nah. I haven't found any spook wood yet, but it is out. And there are there's like a new anti-cheat system. I'm not sure if I'm doing a video on it or not. But if you do um, get... If you can't join the game, it says long plank or long chop. Or yeah, if it says long chop and you can't join, that's because um, like the game has either accidentally or purposely detected you cheating. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a 4x2 cherry wood, place it right here. Grab a 4x2 oak wood, place it on its side like that. There we go. Grab an 8x4. Wait, yeah, place it right here. Grab an 8x4 of oak wood and place it back here. There we go. Ah, life. Grab an 8x4 or an 8x8 or a large floor, place it right up here. There we go. I'm a bit dehydrated recording all these videos. There we go. And then we're going to grab ourselves um, another 8x4 cherry wood. And we're going to place this back there. We're going to grab... Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, actually, we're fine. I was going to say, oh, shoot. But, yep, we have the blueprints. We're going to grab an 8x2 of oak wood, place it right there. And you can finish off the back of this machine if you want. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I'm trying to keep this a pretty simple build. We're going to grab an 8x4, uh, place it up here like this. So there's one stud here and three studs down here. Just follow my cursor. And then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a small floor, rotate it, and put a little gap here. And this, we'll explain what this does later. And now we're going to grab our, our ladders and discard them. Or, um, I forgot what the word is. It's been too late. Um, uh, don't mind the random blueprints and the mess on my base. This is like the truck of candy I did from last video, unboxing, testing machine, all that fun stuff. But apparently it doesn't work. Or, I mean, it, it worked, but I mean, the video didn't record. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to grab ourselves our two 1 over 4 by 1 wedges, and we're going to rotate them like this. Oh shoot, oh shoot, we did something wrong, we did something wrong. Hold on guys, we're going to grab an 8 by 2s, so and you want to actually slide it in. I did this on the last three videos as well, so don't worry. Actually, you should worry. Alright, let's hop up here, or we can just select, there we go, serious business. Uh, let's put it inside like that. Do the same for the other blueprint. Uh, and we could pop this inside like that. There we go. So now um, it's proper size for a candy bag. And we're going to grab our wedges now. And we're going to head pop them on their sides like that. There we go. And place them so they're sticking out one stud like that. You can make this look a bit nicer. I had to make or I had to make adjustments last video just so this machine worked more, uh, flawlessly. So we'll do this. There we go. So it should look like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the wire to the button to a little hole. And that will be that. I'm going to go ahead, click that there, click that there. I'm not going to go for um, beautiful work. We're just going to go ahead and see how quickly we can do this. There we go. We're going to pop that in there. And now all we have to do is get some candy bags, which I'll be back in a moment. So that order us. Alrighty, everyone. So we just finished buying all of our candy bags. Thank you to Yanni. Um, zero underscore zero. I think that's supposed to be a face or something. But candy is sold at Water Rust during Halloween 2018 right here on the shelf. I mean, it's all gone because we just purchased it, but it does respawn over time. So now we're going to head back to our base. I don't want anyone riding my pink car. This is my emergency car when I have to go run errands and hopefully pink to tears most people except the noobs who are like, oh my gosh, it's pink. Let's go touch, poke, poke, glitch out, fling, all that fun stuff. And now once we have our candy bags, um, and if you want th this to hold more candy bags, all you have to do is extend the top to make it more um, tall and stuff. You just have to keep doing that over and over. You don't have to do the wires, just the blueprints. And you have to unbox them. And then we're going to head up here. <laughs> Fail much. Oh, come on. Let me climb up my own ladder. There we go. And we're going to pop this in right here. There we go. That's all you have to do literally for this build. And then we'll do that for the two other bags. This I think this holds three about, uh, or about three. And then sometimes it depends if you're in a laggy server or not, the performance of this machine. If you're in a laggy server, the candy will not really do too well because lag will make it fall in like slow motion gravity. And you actually, is it glitching out? Okay, no, it's not. Just making sure. We'll put one more on top. That, that might be a bit risky. I've always done just three. But I mean, we can do four, push the limits. 
Hopefully this, this does not cause any problems because I am not in the mood for problems. Okay, it's stuck. There we go. Ah, we're lit. Okay, let's role play now. I am a noob. I want pink candy bar. I click button. Button click. Candy fall down. But since it's super slow, let's just give it a little helping hand. Click it. Click it. Click it. Click it. Because it does not want to respect the laws of gravity. There we go. Clicked all the candy bars. I'm just going to toss them to my truck now to keep it a bit clean. Uh, my base. Because candy does make your base data size go up, up, and up through the roof. So that's why I don't want that much on my base. So I, I'll just dump this truck in the ocean or something. So now the candy bag should be falling down there. You press E. This opens. Candy super slow because it's stuck. But if we give it a helping hand, it should fall straight down. Unless sometimes there is like a little overload that can happen. I think like the maximum candy for the bag is 9 or 10. But when that happens, I mean, it could possibly overload the machine and some might glitch out or get stuck at weird angles. That it shouldn't. But I, I've made it so it should never be stuck unless it's just super laggy like that, which I can't prevent. And that's that's really weird gravity. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy. Oh, come on. Yeah, like like that. I mean, sometimes candy will just get lagged out and whatnot. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please press that like button. Also, consider subscribing. I try to post new content every day in Lumber Tycoon 2. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's just watch this fall down in slow motion, maybe. Just to show it works. <laughs> anyways, I hope you have a great day. Subscribe to my channel. Press the like button if you did enjoy this video. This is the fourth time I've recorded. Third. Fourth time I've recorded this. So, I am unhappy. But have a great day. Let's do my bit connect sound. Hopefully they don't copy strike me. Go next. Okay, let's find the off button. There we go.